guys, and welcome back to episode six of Whaley's Kitchen. So today I am making you guys Korean short ribs and before I even let you guys get into this video, let me just point out a huge fail I had today. So I bought ribs, no, my mom bought ribs, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna make ribs tonight. And I went to get my normal sauce that I would make ribs with, and I picked up the wrong one. And if you're Korean, you will know like, what the hell, Waylee, what a stupid fail. I'm not Korean, but I eat Korean food a lot, so even to me, this is like a very, very stupid fail. So anyway, basically Korean short ribs, it's called kalbi and or galbi. But the sauce I bought instead is bulgogi, which is basically used for like beef. So it was kind of a fail there, but you get the idea, okay? The sauce I bought, the brand is this one, and they have one called kalbi, okay? With the one right here says bulgogi marinade. Just make sure you buy the one that says kalbi. They're both equally as good, but traditionally, you're supposed to make it with the kalbi sauce. Okay, so just pointing that out, I made a huge fail and it's too late now. So so uh, I'm just gonna make it with the bulgogi sauce. One thing I wanted to say for any of my recipes, as you guys know, I am not professional. I am not a professional chef, although I should be one day. Everything I make, um, I try to I try to be more well-rounded. I try to do every culture that I personally have tried before. I'm not saying I'm a pro. I'm not saying that I know how exactly these cultures cook their foods, but this is just my take on it and what I find is the simplest and least expensive. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And all right, I'll let you guys get into the tutorial. So I have already rinsed off my ribs. You just kind of run them under water and clean them. And what I like to do with my family, we like to eat ribs small like this. I mean, you can have the whole thing, the whole strip like this, but my family, we just like to have it in smaller pieces, plus it's easier to cook. So I'm just gonna cut it. I'm just gonna take this big chopping Chinese knife and bam. So marinating the ribs is really pretty easy. All you do is just dump this sauce you have right here. I already gave it a good shake and you're just gonna dump this sauce over the ribs. Then I'm gonna take some black pepper. Sprinkle that on top. Take some of your garlic. Now I'm just gonna get in there and mix it all together. So I gave my ribs a good mix. Now I just put a saran wrap over it and I'm gonna stick it in the fridge and let the flavor soak in. Personally, I find that anytime you marinate something, the longer the better. So especially with something like this that's supposed to be so flavorful, I would say that if you have time, marinate it overnight. But if you don't have time like me, just marinate it for as long as you can. I'm gonna pop it in the fridge and give it about three hours or probably I'm only gonna be able to get two because my parents are gonna get off work soon. So I'm just gonna put it in the fridge for about two hours and take it out to cook. Oh, uh, uh -huh, there is no space in here. It's been about two hours, so I just heat up a pan, add some oil, and some onions. enjoyed this episode by the 
the way, I don't know if you guys are wondering why I'm in a different place. So I'm actually at my mom's house right now, or my parents' house. The reason why I'm here is because my parents are just really busy with work this week. So that's why I volunteered to come to my parents' house and cook for them every night so that they can have dinner ready by the time they come home. So that is why the setting is a little bit different, plus the lighting is probably a little off because um, my parents just don't have really good lighting here at their house even though I did bring my lighting set it's just not that great but yeah that's why if you guys are wondering and yeah I will see you guys in my next video in my season finale <gasps> last episode okay bye guys hello guys and welcome back to episode 6 of Whaley's Kitchen <laughs> wow sorry that's my mom's dog panting like crazy can you stop panting Sit. Sit. Quick, quick. You guys hear him? He's panting so loud. Okay, come here. You want to say hi to the YouTubes? There he is. He's a Pekingese, so they tend to pant a lot. Like pugs and bulldogs. Huh. Okay, bye guys. They just don't like him. Hi, huh, little one. Let's let him out. Let him out for a little run. I love when he jumps out. Hi.